Okay, so I'm going to continue factoring quadratics. This is category AA4. But this time things are going to be a little bit different because the first term is no longer, um, does no longer have a coefficient of 1. All right, so I'm going to start by rewriting my trinomial on the side. My trinomial is 2w squared plus 7w plus 5. Okay, so same process. To figure out what goes on the front of my parentheses, I look at the front of my trinomial. What times what gives me 2w squared? And there's only one thing. 2w times 1w gives me 2w squared. And now this is the tricky part. What times what gives me 5? but adds up to give me 7. Now, the reason this is tricky is because we have to multiply one of those numbers times this 2. So let's try something. Let's do 1 times 5 gives me 5. So I'm going to put a 1 right here and a 5 right there. Positive 1 and positive 5. Now, if this is true, when I multiply the inside and the outside of my parentheses, those numbers should add up to give me 7w. 1 times 1w is 1w. 2w times 5w is 10w. And if I add those, I end up with 11w. So that's not what I want. I want 7w, not 11w. So that doesn't work. Now remember, I put the 1 in the first parentheses and the positive 5 in the second parentheses. Well, how about we trade those? And this time, I'm going to put the 5 in the first parentheses, on, in the back of the first parentheses, and the positive 1 on the back of the second parentheses. Okay, so let's try that combination. 5 times 1 gives me 5w, and 2w times 1 gives me 2w. Okay, so if I add those things up, 5w plus 2w is 7w, which is what I want. I want it positive 7w. So again, 2w times 1w is 2w squared. 5 times positive 1 is positive 5. And if I multiply the inside and the outside, I end up with my middle term, which is positive 7w. So my answer is 2w plus 5 times 1w plus 1. Again, you don't have to write this invisible 1 in front of the w. You could just write w plus 1. All right, let's do one more. Again, I'm going to rewrite my trinomial on the side. 4n squared plus 12n plus 5. Okay, so I'm looking for two things that multiply to give me 4n squared. I'm going to try 2n times 2n. And again, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. We just kind of have to guess and check. Okay, and then 1 times 5 gives me 5, so let's try that. Positive 1 and positive 5. All right, to figure out what goes in front of the parentheses, we look at the front of the trinomials. And to figure out what goes at the end of our parentheses, we look at the end of our trinomial. Okay, so let's figure out if, let's see if we get a 12n in the middle. 1 times 2n is 2n. 2n times 5 is 10n, and if I add those together, 2n plus 10n is 12n. So, the beginning works, 2n times 2n gives me 4n squared, 1 times 5 is positive 5, that works, and then if I multiply the middle and the outside of my parentheses, I end up with positive 12n, which is what I want. So my answer is 2n plus 1 times 2n plus 5.